Welcome, welcome back everybody to the Search Show 24-7. This is season two, episode 18 of Arrow, entitled Deathstroke. So let's get right into it. Alright, guys, Deathstroke. Now, this episode, right off the bat, let me tell you right now. This episode was phenomenal. This episode was so well done. I couldn't. I was trying so hard watching this episode to just find a flaw in this episode. Couldn't find not one. Everything about from beginning to end was just fantastic. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. My favorite episode out of the series, including season one and up to season two. This is my favorite episode. And man, oh, just so, so good. Now, this episode is one of those other episodes that we heard about. Like, oh, it's going to be a, uh, basically a uh, Deathstroke episode, like a centric episode. And that's what I've been wanting, like, ever since, like, season one when uh, we got introduced to Slade Wilson. And, you know, um, I, that's all I wanted was I just wanted just, a, just an entirely episode kind of basically dedicated to him. We got it this episode. I, what's so bad about this? I think the only thing that's bad about this episode is it should have been two hours instead of one hour. It should have been a two-hour episode. It was that good. Um, and what I give props to the writers and the creators and the actors in this episode, this episode did something that um, um, it's hard to do when it comes to superhero content. Like if it's a superhero movie, superhero TV show, superhero cartoon, something like that, it does something that I think only one other thing that I know of and that I've seen ever in my life has done where it makes you root for the villain and you actually want the villain to succeed because he's so well done. And the only thing I can compare that to was the only movie that I felt like actually did that and the only superhero content that actually did that for me. And that was the dark Knight with Heath Ledger as the Joker to where you were like, man, He's so good that I'll be okay if he actually beats Batman. I'll be okay if Batman doesn't win and Joker just goes on happy and he wins. I'll be okay with that. This is what that episode did to me. And that's just a testament to um, the writers, the creator, and the actor, uh, and the actress, and everybody just involved in this episode. That's how well it was to where I was like, Deathstroke, if he wins, if he beats Oliver, I'm okay with that. Like, if he ends up killing Oliver or something, and then they just spin that off to just a Deathstroke TV series and how his how he has, like, crazy shenanigans, that will be awesome. You know, something weird like that, you know, because it was just so well done. Now, this episode, it leads right into what happened last week where Thea, she's upset about the whole Roy thing. She ends up uh, meeting uh, Slade. Um, he picks her up, and she thinks he um, he's going to take her home. He doesn't. He basically kidnaps her. And I was like, well, that's going to get Oliver's attention. And it gets everybody's attention. And what I like about this episode is we know what uh, Slade wants. He wants to basically just destroy Oliver's world just around him. Just start slowly breaking it down. And what's so good about it is I thought, like, oh, he just wants to kill all of his, like, everybody he cares about. No, it's not that at all. He just wants to like mess with Oliver like he's like messing with him so bad that it's funny like I was just watching and I was laughing like he is really messing with Oliver like really and it's just so great because at first you think oh he, he's going to take Thea and he's just going to kill her and that's going to get Oliver no he's going to do something even worse and he's going to expose Oliver um, to, to Thea and that's just going to break her spirit and break her faith in Oliver, and that's going to be more detriment to Oliver because that starts breaking all the blocks and, you know, it has that domino effect and everything starts cracking in the Team Arrow community. Everybody's just trying to figure out, hey, what does he want with Thea? Where's Thea? Is he going to kill Thea? And he's like, no, I'm not going to kill her. I'm just going to, you know, tell her a few things. I'm going to be about my way. And it was just so funny to me, and I really enjoyed it. And... And you see Oliver, and you know, like I said, you see Team Arrow, and with Roy, because Roy is like, well, we need to get Thea. 
uh, Oliver, you're wrong. Um, we should have did it this way. And then that starts breaking down the team, and everybody starts fighting in between that while Oliver's still dealing with the Thea thing, and he's got to deal with the whole queen industry industry things with Is Isabel. And that was really good because I haven't we haven't seen her in like six, or probably like eight episodes. And then you figure out that she's a part of um, uh, Deathstroke, and she knows who Slade Wilson is. And that was just like, what? He's He's got everybody, like, on the... He's got everybody, like, in his fingers. You know, he he has every situation down pat. He, he's, it's like a game of chess. And he's, like, playing by himself because nobody can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And that's what's so great about it. And, you, and what's so amazing about this episode, you really see the emotion and how it's really getting to Oliver. Because... Like I said, I was up there like, man, he's really messing with Oliver like like crazy. And you just see Oliver like break down. And he's like, I don't know what to do. And like, I'm trying not to put him in my head, but he is in my head and I can't do nothing about it. And you see that that he he has no control over anything that's that's happening. And that's what's so great about this episode. And um what 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 else was really good is that you see the how far gone um Slade is when he's in the when he's on the island and when he's um in the future day you see how gone he really is because you see shadow like in the background and it's just like you know his he's imagining her and she's saying everything to him and he's just repeating everything she says so that was really cool to see just see shadow and see like her talking to his his to him in his air and he's just spitting everything back out exactly what she's saying so just you see how far gone he is and man when he puts on that armor it's just a thing of beauty i mean it is a thing of beauty and i don't know guys i don't know what to say about this episode that can't be said like Everything about it was just so fantastic. Um, I love the fact at the end where he was like, well, I messed with Oliver. I gave him back his sister. But you know what? I need to mess with him a little bit more. And the way he went about it. He, speaking of which, can Laura go to a different apartment? She needs to just move. Cause she, people have broken into that apartment for like like 12 times. Just like the 12th time. Like some robber or some bad person has been at her apartment. Like, she needs to just switch addresses or something because that makes no sense at all. Like, why is she still at that apartment? Because everybody in Starling City just know where she lives at. So that's just crazy. But the fact that Slade goes to her house and he's like, yo, calm down. I'm not even about to kill you. I'm not even about to touch you. I'm just about to let you know that Oliver, he's the arrow and he walks right out. He just lets himself out. He said, you know what? Oliver's the green arrow. And he walks out, and that was just fantastic. So you see, he's just messing with Oliver even more. So now that um, Laurel knows Oliver's secret, how's that going to um, affect you know everything? And now that um, you know um, he told he you know now that he told Thea about like who her father really is, that you know it just broke her spirit. You know what I mean? You, it broke her spirit because. Um, the only person that she uh, felt like she can trust was lying to her all along just like her mother and she made a good point like you sound just like her Oliver so you know Slade is just just chipping away at his like his life and it's just slowly breaking down and that's what's really cool because he doesn't actually have to kill nobody really he's just breaking he's just messing up his life and then he's just gonna probably kill Oliver and he doesn't actually have to kill anybody but Oliver and that's what's really cool about this. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this episode, guys. I'm sorry if I'm rambling so much, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, what did you guys think about this episode? Did you like it? Was it your favorite episode? Please like this video, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Did you love the fact that uh, Slate was just messing with Oliver like to the umph degree, like to the tenth degree, just messing with him, messing with him, man? You, you can't. He couldn't do anything about it, people. That's what's just so great about it. And um, do you feel like how I felt about the whole like villain thing to where it was just so well done to where you you start rooting for him and you want him to succeed because you want to see more of him. Like so just comment below. Let me know. And as always, this is the search show 24 seven. Be easy.